<laughs> you were so silly. <laughs> Um, my princess, I, I want to talk to you. Not now, please. Look, uh, about what you saw... I it... said not now. I don't have words for you right now. Young lady, don't you dare walk out on me. I want to talk to you. I am your mother and you have to listen to me. Save that explanation for your husband. Hey, hey! Don't try it. Don't even think about telling your father what you saw. Is he even my real father? How dare you? Mila. 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 Mila! What I plan to do, oh, this gets so bad. God. So, because I'm in your house, that's why you feel like you know the ghost. <laughs> Who are you and what are you doing in my house? Young man, stand up and get out of my house. Why? He's not. He's not done yet. He just arrived. It's fine! Look, I am holding myself. I am holding myself from giving you a death slap. So if you know what is good for you, you tell this thing to stand up on this house and get out. I said out! Are you mad? You are looking at I told you to get out of my house. You are looking at her. Mila, respect yourself. And where are you going? Come back here. I said come back here. Oh, oh God. Lord, I've lost grip on my own family. I can't even talk to my own child and she would listen to me. Oh, God. Jesus, I'm finished. I'm finished. And I was so surprised when you invited me over to your house. Seriously, I was even thinking your mom was not home. Hey, did all that. Tell me what's going on. What's happening? Um, in Go. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow at the teacher's center.
Rina, please, I, I really want to talk to you. I really need to explain some things to you, my darling. There's nothing I can say right now. I just really want to chat. How can we even bring a man into the house? Are you calling me a fire and it has to burn my face? Yeah. How shameless can you be? How dare you? Talk to me! Don't you dare lay your finger on me again. has lost every respect she has for me as her mother. I can imagine. This is a serious mistake. But what happened to the usual hotel? I, I really can't explain it. See, she wasn't supposed to be at home. I dropped her at the tutorial center myself. I didn't know that she was going to come back on her own. I just don't understand that girl. The worst is that she has threatened to tell her father. I don't know what to do. I'm just so confused. Um, <clears throat> you have to calm down. I think I should talk to her. Please, please help me. There's no time. Her father will soon come back from his usual trips. Please. Okay, that means we should go to the house immediately. Yes, please. Okay. <sighs> I actually want to have a word with you. Do you mind if we go outside and talk? Oh, I think it's sleeping. Um, <clears throat> Mila. You've actually grown into a very beautiful young lady. And with time, your reasoning will have to broaden and you will begin to understand certain things in life. Um, about what you saw your mom do, um, I, I want you to know that something actually prompted it. What would prompt a married woman to bring another man into her home? Uh, <clears throat> that is actually the only thing wrong in it. Um, have you ever wondered why you're the only child? I guess not. But I will tell you, my darling. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's actually very hard to say, but I will just say it anyways. Your father is actually inactive in bed. But your mom, she's still in the marriage because of you. She would have long left the marriage. But she stayed because of you. You know what? Get out. Excuse you? I said get out. Ah, what has come over you, Mila? What's the meaning of this nonsense? You want to hear my problem in this house. Now, if you don't tell her to leave, I'm going to push her out. Mila, you will leave. Ah! 
Oh, 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 What did you say to her? I, uh, I tried to convince her. Then I told her about your husband's Nazi mess in bed. Ah, why would you tell her something like that now? You shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I, I, I just needed to give her a reason for your action. It's okay. Mm. You can go. I'll call you, okay? I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you it's for fine. trying at least. Okay. Try to now. Friend said, the man I know as my father is inactive in bed. So that drives me to my question. Who is my father? Mila. Mila, please forget about what Oge said. It's not true. Me? No, I'll never do such a thing. I assure you, my darling, Perry is your father. I... I use protection outside. Are you... How can you even take your family problem outside? What do you mean, no? If you can go about saying things about my father to a mere friend, that means you can do worse. value for your family. No single respect for your family at all. Please, this was a mistake. You shattered me. I mean, so let's just move past this. Forgive me. Please. I just hope I'm able to forgive you for this. who lost her parents and will be spending some time here with us. Chioma, meet my daughter, my lovely daughter, Mila. Hi, Mila. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Ma, is she not happy to see me? What? No. Of course she is. I am... Actually, she has malaria. Yes, you know, temperature, even period cramps, you know, teenage. She's just understanding her dumb. You know, forget about her. Let's go upstairs. Let me show you to her room. Uh -huh. Here at home, I love everything. My darling, sweetheart, I was looking for you. Um, so, <clears throat> your dad is coming tomorrow morning. In my way. Um, Mia, please. Please, I beg you. Don't tell him what you saw. 
I mean, I mean, it's for your own good. Eh? I, 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 if you tell him what happened, the highest thing he would do is to send me out of this house. <laughs> and I'll be fine. I'll still be alive and, you know, living my life. But you, I, I can't say this thing about you. You'll be scarred. You'll be a product of a broken home, and no man will want to marry you. There'll be so much stigma in your school, everything. This Look. emotional blackmail, he won't work on me. No, yeah, I care about you. Also, listen here, madam. You are in no position to tell me what to do. Madam? Mia, Mia, darling, what happened to sweet mom you usually call me? Okay. I want you to be honest with yourself. Yes, my darling. Do you really think that you deserve that title? From the deepest part of your heart, do you feel like you deserve that title? Are you a sweet mom? Mm -hmm. Please shut my door on your way out. What was that? What was what? I just respect my girlfriend. Are you nuts? Who's your girlfriend? Come on, don't be like that. You were the one that introduced me to your mom as your boyfriend. I thought about it and I, I actually like it. You better be joking. This better be a joke. Sorry, sorry. I was actually joking. Come on. You should have seen your face. I was just joking with you now. Better. Huh? No, please call me your girlfriend. I'll squeeze it your mouth. Let's go. Are we going or not? Um, and I miss you. No, I missed you more. I am the one that missed you. <laughs> it's <just> you. <laughs> wow, so, the trip was so much stress. Um, I can just imagine. Yes, come in. Oh, my Dad, God. Dad, yes. I was waiting for you in the living room. Sorry, my love. As you can see, your mother has been all over me. And I see she missed me so much. Yes, I missed you so much, darling. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> I miss him. Um, you know what? Why don't you just um, go to your room so we can do what mommies and daddies do? You guys can always catch up tomorrow or something. Right, babe? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, tomorrow is Saturday. We, we have all day to to ourselves, okay? Please. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Take good care of yourself, okay? Okay. Good night, Peter. Good night, Daddy. Good night, and don't forget to say your prayers. <sighs> yes. So. Where are we? We're here now. <laughs> You're so <laughs> silly. <laughs> Infidelities from the woman. I actually like the idea of the DNA test. Can we go for a DNA test? Well, we can if you insist on the DNA. Yes, DNA. Hey. Oh my gosh. Honey, are you 
you okay? No, I, I have a migraine, a terrible migraine. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Let me help you. Okay. Really? Please just go upstairs to the room. I can't, I can't stay here anymore. I need to rest. Oh, oh, okay, sweetie. Uh, can I take your mom upstairs and now mop this place, okay? Yes. Seems like she's less busy, yes. Then I'll do some housework. Okay. Uh, sorry. Yes, my love. Sorry. Honey, you should take a pen really. Drugs. Um, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll just be with you the enough to make me better. <sighs> okay, you say so. Yeah, that reminds me. I... I feel you should pay more attention to Mila because all is not well with her. Um, I, I don't think so. I, I think she's just throwing tantrums because you're around. You know, she's a spoiled daddy's girl. She'll be okay, Joe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because uh, she always talk about uh, infidelity and betrayal and there is this cold attitude that she puts on and uh, she doesn't play as usual. Uh, well, um, well, that's just Mila becoming a woman. I, I mean, kids learn a lot as they grow. Trust me, it's nothing for you to worry about. Pay her no mind. I mean, don't listen to anything she says. <laughs> well... You say so. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's just leave leave her to me. You know, we women we understand ourselves. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> uh, I'm living in hell in that house. The situation is just terrible. This girl treats me like an enemy. The worst is that she even suggested a DNA test to her father. Can you imagine? Ah, babe, you're really taking it cool with her. And that's the reason she's misbehaving. No matter what happens, you are still the mother. You have to take your stand as the mother. Put her in her place. Shut her up. Trust me, she will not dare mention it to the father. Are you sure? Yes, I am. You have to shut her up. Put her in her place. What a country. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Why is my room still so untidy? Oh, sorry. I'll clean it once I'm done with the living room. Are you okay? I need to go through my brother's business. You are not talking to me. Don't ask me to come in here. I'm sure. Do I know what I'm talking to you? See, we are going to receive it more hot. Eh? If I go to my room and it's not tidy. And what's the meaning of that? Young lady, when I brought you to this house, did I introduce her to you as a maid? Don't mind her. Just continue what you're doing. If she will not clean her room, then it will remain dirty like the dirty girl that she is. Ah, what is it? What's your problem? Everybody has been begging you in this house, acting like, like, mm. sorry, my dear. Rubbish. Because we're well, we've been begging you soon. Let's try me and see. What's going on? I heard voices. Can you imagine? 
Miller slapped Choma because Choma decided to clean the living room before going to uh, Miller's room to clean. Wow. You mean Choma cleans Miller's room? Yeah, Choma helps around a lot. Oh. That reminds me. What's going on between you and Miller? Because you suddenly became weak to discipline Miller. And you know that's not good for a child. No, it's not like I became weak. It's just um because of Miller's mental health, you see. Um, she was beginning to complain that I I don't love her, I'm so harsh on her, so I had to loosen up. Yeah. But I I'll do better than that. Anyways, but Mila has no right to lay her hands on Choma. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I, 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 will, I will personally deal with that. No, no. I mean, I've already dealt with it. Yes, mm. I dealt with it decisively. She will not mess up again. You don't have to, you know, you should enjoy your few days of rest and your vacation before you go to work again. You know, we don't see you all the time. So this few time we have with you, let me enjoy you soon, eh? Forget about Mila. <laughs> anyway, I'm just... No, 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 you don't need that. It's not necessary. It's fine. Just leave Mila. Just avoid Mila. I told you. She's... Woman stuff. Leave her alone. Yeah. So baby, let's continue watching now um, the videos. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, uh, then let me let me get something downstairs, okay? Mila, you're a bit early. You still have two hours to go. We. Oui. Who is we? Oh, you? Are you? Are you stupid? I'm sorry. Can you wait for me? I'm almost done. I'll round up then. I can freshen up. You don't get it. You are in that center on your own. Alone. If you want to get to school, go by yourself. Or better still, have your mom drive you there. Okay? Now listen, don't even try to act like you know me there. Because if you do, I, I, I swear to God I will embarrass you. Just try and answer. What are you doing here? What are you doing? I swear that you're not happy to see me. I am not. My parents could see us. They did not see me. They cannot see me. They will never see me because I'm always very careful. Alright? I'm here to walk my two ladies to the tutorial ground. Your two ladies? Yes. The two ladies in my life. You know. Is someone already? Why don't you go in and check in yourself? Hey, darling, you didn't go with your sister. No, mom, but I can find my way. All right, that's fine. Um, make sure you try to finish your chores early enough so you can always go with your sister, okay? By the way, young lady, you look very good today. Very beautiful. Thank you, Mom. It's all thanks to Mila. She gave me a few clothes and handbags. You don't say. Wow, she tried. Um, all right, Mom. Okay, you too. Don't talk to anybody on the road, though. Don't talk to strangers.
quite revealed that things are not the way it used to be between you and Mila. Because uh, it's really bothering me and I, I choose not to interfere. Because I believe before I get back from my trip, you, you'll fix this. Oh, darling, it's nothing to worry about. Hmm? I feel like um, it's because of Choma. Mila is um, feeling like Choma is here to share attention, you know. But she would, um, she would get used to it. Everything will be sorted. Like you said, before you come back, you won't even notice. <laughs> Well, that's clearer to me now. It's clearer to me now because uh, what I want you to do is just be the best mother as you can to bond them. Mm -hmm. Because Choma is an amazing person. Yeah. yeah. All right, I definitely will. Let me pack your bag. No, no, no. Not so fast. You can leave that till tomorrow because there. Uh, you need to settle. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you're so silly. Come here. <laughs> How are you, Mila? This man has no prestige. What's she ever doing here? I told Stella I don't want to come here. This is Lumpuda's girl. Who knows why she's looking at me? Hey. Take that back to the kitchen. Why? Mom is screaming and she asked me to set the stones with Did I ask you to speak back at me? I said take it back to the kitchen. Take what back? What's going on here? Mom, it's Mila. She was being disrespectful. And she asked me to return the drink for absolutely no reason. Okay, please. Yeah. On a normal, I wouldn't take this embarrassment from you. You have to question her. Okay, please calm down. Okay, please. Okay, calm down now. No, no children. No, please, I'll call you. What's wrong with you? When she stops coming here, then I'll stop embarrassing her. Excuse me. Mila. Mila. I know it's not my business. But what you did in there was no good. Your attitude is bad. You didn't just insult Auntie Uge, but you also insulted your mom. And it will make someone think mom didn't raise you properly. Are you stupid? Who asked you to be the judge of me? Hmm? Listen, we're not part of this family. So stay away from me. How are you? I am so sorry I kept you waiting, okay? I didn't intend to. You know, I shouldn't keep a fine girl like you waiting. But I had a situation at home and the pressure was just too much. I just wanted to ask because when I called, I just... I was hearing noises in the yeah. background. It's my cousin. You wouldn't believe she wanted to take her own life. But we think God, someone saw her and raised an alarm, so she's okay. Why would anyone want to take your life? Hmm. See... Uh, it's her parents. She was abandoned when she was still a little kid. They got divorced. But my mother picked her up and, you know, raised her. So there's this guy she's been dating for like seven years now. They almost, they really wanted to get married. So, but when um, the guy's parents went to her village to ask all these normal questions they asked before marriage, they discovered um, her parents were divorced. And you know that the parents told their son to, to join the marriage. 
Mm. Because she just she was just under so much pressure she couldn't control it. <sighs> Since right. But what does that have to do with her? Everything. I'm telling you. Divorce is a very bad thing that no one should wish for. And as it stands now, it even affects the female children more. So just like my father told me, it is believed that a woman that could not keep her own home would mislead her children into still divorcing even when they get married. You know, so it's really very bad. But that's by the way. You said you had something you wanted to tell me? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry, I have to get home now. I, I have to attend to something. Are you okay? Yeah. You sure? If you say so, how is how is Shama? Mila, your father is beginning to suspect something is wrong because of your nasty attitude. Mm. Okay, go ahead and talk. I don't care. You think that when you blab, your father will chase me out and then I will suffer alone? No, my darling. Not only will you be a product of a broken home, but if word gets round that your mother was chased out of her matrimonial home because of infidelity, guess how they are going to look at you? Because the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, girl. Your husband-to-be and his family, they will do their research. And when they hear just about me, nobody will marry you. <laughs> you think you can spoil my home and then you have yours? It will not work. Nonsense. Go and tell your father now. Rubbish, because I'm home begging you. Rose. Is this true? Why is it so? Hey. Yes, yeah. Was it? I'm I'm fine standing, Mila. Okay. Um I just want to know your take on women's infidelity in marriages. You heard me. I... I did, but I'm just wondering why you asked. Just ask that a question. Infidelity is what killed both my parents. What? My dad lost his job and he was unemployed right after that so my mom took over and became the breadwinner though we didn't know how she got the money or what her source of income was and soon after that my dad got sick and we thought it was malaria which he got treated for but his condition began to get worse so my uncle took it into his own hands and decided to take the matter to a native doctor which is how we found out that my mother was sleeping around and getting money from men well that sounds like like a tale I wish it was my dad died a few days after that and my mom was charged with his death she was sent out of the house and wasn't allowed to attend the burial. All my dad's last rites were performed by my uncle. Days later, we got a call that my mom slept and didn't wake up. That's sad. Yeah. In some places, it's said that if a woman cheats, she runs mad immediately. 
Mm. That's better now. Why would you say so? Nothing. Mind your business. Mila is so weird. Sometimes she acts normal and then the next minute. Mila, you didn't go for your tutorial. Is everything okay? I'm sure you are aware how Tremor's parents died. What about it? You know the consequences of adultery in our community. And then you went ahead to get yourself involved in it. You're actually trying to kill daddy so you can go ahead mingling with these men that give you the satisfaction you want. Mila, what will you gain from tormenting me? This father you're so quick to speak about. Do you think he's so innocent in this regard? Oh, do you think he is keeping his chastity in all his supposed business trips? Look here, what I'm doing is not something that has not been done before. Yes, so if you like, you can tell your dad that's your business. Tell him, sing like a bird. But let me tell you, I'm not the only one that will suffer it. And I repeat, I am not the first and I will not be the last to cheat. So rest, madam. Meanwhile, I thank God you know so much about community, custom, and tradition. It means that when everyone gets to know that your mother is an adulterer, they will castigate you. They will also judge you. So don't think you're better than me, okay? Rubbish. What kind of woman is this? She hates me sometimes. And she won't tell me what's wrong. But I believe she will tell you. I know all is not well with her. She acts depressed sometimes, but our mother is not paying attention to it. I actually believe you. You understand? She sometimes called me last week that she, she has some things she wanted to tell me or discuss with me, but she ended up not telling me anything. Mila can be so secretive to a fault, you know. But do not worry, I will, I will find a way to to get out exactly what the problem is. I will find out. Um, I have to go now. She might be at the gates. Take care of yourself. It's okay. Why are you such a killjoy? Excuse you? Give me back my remote. I dare you! Mira! Jesus! What are you doing here? Nothing. You know, I'm just trying to justify the reason you and your friend gave me for committing adultery. According to you, you said you dated my father for three years, 
before you got married to him. During the course of that three years, did it not occur to you that he wasn't satisfying you in bed? <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are to question me? I do not <laughs> owe you any explanation, young lady. Imagine. Okay, let me ask you one question. Mm -hmm. Let's say I was married now. And I started sleeping with different men outside my marriage. Would you like that? Well, everyone has their life to live. Mm. I am living and enjoying my life and I suggest you do the same. I don't care. Maybe you should just mind your business. Please, can you excuse me? Taking so long with the juice. No, I chance love the kitchen because I can't have access to it. No, did you ask Mila? She's not in the house. We don't lock kitchen in this house. Let me have a look. Has she picked your calls yet? I, I hope nothing has happened to my baby girl. Okay, she's here now. I'll, I'll call you back. Hey! Come back here. Did you lock my kitchen door? I want to see a friend. Why would she lock her kitchen door? Who the hell does she think she is? Look here, Mila. You are biting more than you can chew. You are, you are pushing me beyond my elastic limit. It's okay. Just, just it's okay. It's fine. You... In fact, just take that one. I... Oh God! What kind of child is this? It's okay. All right, baby. Good night. Good evening, Mom. Evening. Are you all right? Is everything okay? Um. Yes, Mom. I I just like to discuss something with you. Sure. Go ahead. It's about Mila. I think she's depressed and at first I thought I was her problem. But I confirmed from her friends at the tutorial that 
she changed from being pleasant to being a sadist. And I think you should pay more attention to her. I feel like she will confide in you. You know, if we don't pay attention to all this now, she can end up doing bad things to herself. God forbid. You know what? Um, thank you so much for this. I, I will definitely look into it, okay? Okay, Mom. Jama, please continue to be a good girl that you are, okay? Okay, Mom. Good night. Sleep well. You too. supposed to be here now. I haven't even recovered from what happened the last time and you are here. Don't put me in problem. Come on Stella. You see, I, I can't get my mind off you. God, you have left me hanging for long. Stop now, eh? Look, my marriage is at the verge of breaking down. My daughter is threatening to tell my husband about what she saw. You can't be here to them. Look, sweetheart, baby, I'll call you, okay? Just go. I promise I'll call you. Come on, come on. You, you know that's a lie now. I've been calling you for long. You're not taking my calls. See, let's just go inside and have the quickie, please. Stop this thing now. Are you mad? Stop. Are you okay? No, no, no. It's not what you think. It's, it's not what you think. Um, actually, he was on his way out. Nothing happened. Just go. He was just leaving. He just came to. Uh, he was passing by. He came to check on me. Jehovah's Witness. Mila! Mila! Mila, I, I promise it's Jehovah's Witness. Please, I've come here to beg you. With anything you hold there, tell Duben to leave me alone. Can you imagine me trying to, 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 to fix up my home front? I'm still trying to mend things between myself and my daughter, and he just shows up to ruin everything. Please tell him to stay away from me, or I will have him arrested. Come on, babe. You're taking this thing too hard on yourself. Why don't you relax and have fun? Eh? That guy really likes you genuinely. And trust me, he does magic on bed. Excuse me, you can't be serious. You know what? Tell your Dubem to stay away from me, and maybe you two should also stay away from me. You heard me right. Stella, you regret this. Oh, I'm already regretting my association with you. What can be worse? Just look at someone I'm doing a favor. Nonsense. Go and spend your boring time with your inactive husband in bed. Nonsense. It's not what you think. It's, it's not what you think. Yeah, 
I didn't tell your mom either. I ordered a cab and just to surprise you all. <laughs> you worked. You really surprised me. Where's your mom and your sister? Uh, your wife. I don't know her whereabouts. Um, Shama went to school. Teach your lesson. And you didn't go with them? I have cramps. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, I have to go up and freshen up. Oh, yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> So how was the trip? Very, very fun. Yeah. I still find it hard to believe that you came here just to celebrate her birthday. Come on, Mila. That's your mom. I just thought we should celebrate her for being an amazing mom. Okay? You know, she has been celebrating us. And we've not celebrated her own. Okay? Let's not be selfish. Hmm? Okay. Can we plan a get together with a few friends and families? I think she will like it. Okay. Okay? Give me a smile. <laughs> Babe, I didn't know you were coming. Yeah. What got me? I just wanted to surprise you. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you look amazing. Oh, thank you, darling. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you like what you see? I love it. <laughs> Hi, princess. She's so dramatic. Um, I'll see you later, daddy. Oh, all right. I will talk to you. Wow. I hope everything is fine. Yeah, you know, father and daughter. Mm. <laughs> <I> <laughs> How is it? Imagine. How is it? How is it? I oh. missed you. So tell me all about your trip. Oh, so stressful. It can show on my face. Don't worry, baby. You know I always have my ways. Mm. I will make you laugh. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you do if you found your... Your dad's cheating, you know, if you just saw him making out. In My your, dad? Yeah, like I'm just asking. Sure, I, I didn't see that coming. Why would you even ask? Why would you even think of something like that? Just answer. I'll tell you after you answer. Uh, My dad. Well. The only reason why I'll be so angry or mad at him is because he brought the woman into our family house or to our home. You know, that is so disrespectful to my mom and then towards the kids. Why? So, but if he did it outside, I wouldn't even mind. Uh -uh. Yeah. Why? Why? You know how it is now. So, men are not condemned for cheating. I did not condemn them. So, and don't forget that he can equally marry another wife. He can marry as many wives as he wants if he, if he decides to. Ah. <laughs> so, what if the case is reversed? What? I'm reversed. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> is she mad? Is she mad? Ha! No, 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 that, that cannot be. I'm just saying, like, for adventure, like, it can happen. Ah! No way, no way. My mom wouldn't do something like that. She can't. She's so responsible and prayerful. She can't do something like that. She wouldn't dare. Ah. She wouldn't. I I guess I've made a mistake then. Did you, did you catch your mom cheating? No, no, ah, uh, never. Uh, I was just like I'm working on this story, yeah? Ah. So it's something of this nature. Yeah, I'm trying to find the way to round it up. That's why I'm asking all these see. questions. Yeah. I see. Well, the story would actually go well, you know, because this is actually, you know, something that happens around. And it would actually, you know, it's going to go well. It's going to go well. Yeah, I'm trying to upload it online. 
Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. Um. So, what would you do to your mom? <sighs> my mom cheats in my father's house. <sighs> no, I cannot take it. All. I cannot take it. That man is that he kills me. I'll kill her. But the most important thing is that I will never forgive my mom. I will never. And I will even be the one personally to encourage my dad to divorce her. It's too much. She not only did something at home never according to my tradition, she has seen biblically. No way. Wow. My dad will definitely divorce her. Or we cannot keep somebody that is sitting with another man in our house. No way. No, I, I can't. I can't. We can't take that. Yeah, okay. I'm just. I'm just go home now. What? Uh, I want to go home. Now? Yeah, I have to do something. Sorry. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, if you say so. Huh? Uh, all right then, I'll see you around. Yeah. Good morning. How was your night? I slept snug. Ah, I have a gift for you. A gift? Yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, babe. Oh my God, thank you. You're the best. Yeah. Well, I. Uh, I really want to thank you for loving me. I really want to thank you for loving Mila and I unconditionally. And I also want to thank you for loving an imperfect man. An imperfect man. You're the most amazing woman I've ever met. I really enjoyed myself. So much fun. Huh? Thanks for coming. And I must comment. Your dad is actually super romantic. Oh my god. Your mom is actually lucky to have him. My own dad, she doesn't even have any money style. Um, I have to go back in. Um I have to assist your mom. No, it's okay. your I know. I know how you can be to host people. It's okay. Just take your time. I'll find my way out, okay? Okay. Just listen. <laughs> All right. I'll see you around. Andrew, you the party. Yes, for the big one. Yes, so shut down. My husband is the best. <laughs> I'll call you back. <clears throat> I'm sure you had fun. Yes, I did. Mm. You know, I just wished he knew he put up all this energy for an undeserving wife. Watch your tongue, young lady. I wish I could. I honestly wish I could. You betrayed him. You know, it pains me so much that he still loves and trusts you. I love my husband too. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you did, you wouldn't bring in a man into this house. No. Under his roof. A man that my father is miles better than. Mila, what would you gain if you ruin this marriage? If you ruin my marriage? What's your problem? As if you care. You know, it's starting to makes sense to me now why you sent out the gate man and the housekeeper 
You sacked them because they were obstructing your way, Abby. Your way of bringing in numerous men into this house. Wow. Really? Look at me in the eyes and tell me that all I heard are lies. Talk to me! Now I understand what is going on between you and Mila. It's clear to me now. I was bold like you when I found out my mom was cheating on my dad. Maybe he wouldn't have died. You did the right thing by exposing her. You think so? Yes. But I was finding it hard to believe until I heard her say it herself. Can't believe I doubted her. What I don't understand is what could have brought her to commit such a shameful and destructive act? Her needs for sexual gratification. There's no excuse for adultery. But I believe they'll resolve it. <sighs> it's okay. Terrible. Please, very please. My husband, I, I, I swear I was influenced strongly, but I, I thought I, I, never again. Please, give me a second chance, please. Second chance? Do you know you are repulsive, disgusting? Do you know you've killed my love and feelings I have for you? You will hear from my lawyer. By the time I return back to this house, I don't want to see you. <sighs> please forgive me. Hey! Dad, Dad, are you leaving us? I just want to go out and close, okay? I'm really hot. I'm sorry. Yeah, I understand. I'm proud of you. You can talk on phone, okay? It's okay, Mom. We'll find a way to resolve it.
ladies. Mila? Mila? It's... It's okay, Mom. She needs time to heal. I'll do it in her room. Thank you. Let me, let me go get you. Oh, oh no. Um, I, I don't really have appetite. Just want to say hi to you guys. Excuse me. Filing for a divorce. Oh, okay. Mila, I regret ever allowing my friend Oge take me down the road of adultery. I regret it every single day. I love you. I love my husband. I love my family. And you know it. You know that I will never ever do anything to tear us apart intentionally. But uh, we're human. And sometimes our desires lead us astray. Sometimes what what is so wrong feels so good. And, I'm not trying to justify my actions, I just... I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for breaking your heart. I'm sorry for ruining the trust and confidence you had in me as a mother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, for hurting your father. I'm sorry for tearing us apart. And if I am given a second chance, I will never cheat on your father again. Please, don't let him leave. Please, Mila. <laughs> you know, I have you to thank for the freedom I feel right now the cat was let out of the bag. I was, I was living in guilt, in fear. I was so scared of what will happen when you tell him, but now I'm free because the worst is happening. I am losing a family I love so much, so I'm free. Do I still feel guilty? Yes. But at least the truth is out now. You, I wish you never ever get to be in my shoes to understand. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry.
So tell me, how far have you gone? Have you completed with your stories? Not yet. So, where are you now? At what stage? Let me know. I'm still rounding it up. I don't want to talk about it. It's me. What I'm asking is, I could give you some ideas. You never can tell. No, thank you. I just, I just hope it comes out the way I want it in my head. Madam, if you tell me that you need my help, it's not a crime. Nothing will happen to you. Yeah? You don't know how good I am with storytelling. If you hear my stories, if you hear what is in this my head, it's just that I'm not good at writing, but I have good, no good ideas. No Prime the storyteller. Yeah, I would you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't want to talk about it, there's no problem. But believe me, if you share the ideas, it will not be bad. I've been trying to reach you, but to no avail. I know that you're hurt. And I know that you don't feel okay about everything going on. But my mom, she's, she's, she's human. She's bound to make mistakes. And I believe she's learned her lessons. So, well, she told me you're filing for a divorce. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how that makes me feel. And I don't want our family to be separated. So please, if you can just find it in your heart to forgive her. Please, Daddy. I don't want our family to be broken. I love you. I've been trying to reach you, but to no avail. I know that you're hurt, and I know that you don't feel okay about everything going on. But my mom, she's, she's, she's human. She's bound to make mistakes, and I believe she's learned her lessons. So. Well, she told me you're filing for a divorce. I don't know how that makes me feel. And I don't want our family to be separated. So please, if you can just find it in your heart to forgive her. Please, Daddy. I don't want our family to be broken. I love you.
Ah. Ah. Stella. You hurt me really bad. Can I ever forget this? You too. I'm sorry. No, oh, I'm sorry. Never wanna let you go. Dad! Welcome, no, Dad. Magic. I've not been a perfect husband, so I shouldn't judge you. But you're a man. No one is going to judge you either. Yeah, I know, but being a man shouldn't justify cheating. Let's be faithful to each other. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you too. I love you. I love you too. 